Let's factor the equation 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. And here's how we'll do it. Normally what we'll do is we'll start with a skeleton equation. But with this, we have the 2 here in front. That makes it a little more complicated. Why don't we move this x here a little over, and then we'll write 2 in like this. So now we have our skeleton equation. We can look at the signs. If we look at the signs here, we have a positive and a positive. All the terms are positive. We're going to put positives in here for our skeleton equation. Then normally what we'll do is we'll find the factors of that last term, the 1, and they add up to the middle term. But since we have the 2, it's not going to work quite that way. But this one's pretty simple. We just have 1. So all we can really put in is 1 times 1. And now we can use the FOIL method to make sure we did this correctly. We multiply the first terms, the outside term, the inside terms, then the last terms. And that'll give us, and we can just combine these two terms, and we get, and this here, it's the same thing we started with. So we factored 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 correctly. Let's take a moment to find the values for x that'll make this side of the equation 0, so it'll be a true statement. So we could say 2x plus 1, that equals 0, so 2x equals a negative 1, and then we'll divide both sides by 2, x would equal a negative 1 half. So if we put negative 1 half in for x here, we do the math, all this will equal 0. Likewise, over here, we could say x plus 1 equals 0. So add negative 1 to both sides. We get x equals negative 1. And if you put negative 1 in for x here, do the math, it'll equal 0. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these same values. This is Dr. B factoring the equation 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Thanks for watching.